he makes it to John, I feel like he'll feel a lot better. But this is final boss right now. Because I feel like every zoner has like, it, it's about, it's not only about winning, right? It's about, you know, playing your character well. It's also about the stamina that it's going to take to get you yep. through this set. And just in terms of stamina required, yeah, like he's been playing since like losers round like two, so. And remember, but, Sinji's, you know, not the most aggressive in terms of like approaches either. Mm -hmm. So Chris is gonna not have to get, you know, frustrated here. He really has to like find his openings and take it as far as possible before Sinji resets like this. Nice little setup using Galaga to open him up. Got a little bit of loose hits in there. Yeah, Sinji's just camp in the air. This yeah. is like, this is in Philly what we like to call air camping. Yeah. Where you just constantly are jumping around. You're not really committing to anything. And you're just kind of, you know, yeah, hanging just, out. He knows that the full hops are uh, appropriate. Because yeah. one thing Ness can't do, even though he has a lot of horizontal mobility with his, like, you know, side magnet cancels and double jump cancels and all that. One thing that the character struggles with is once he commits to that second jump, like if he does need to cover high, uh, it's a huge commitment and he has to float all the way up there. So uh, really smart choices from Sinji to kind of camp the skies, like you said. Yeah. Chris, though, has tacked on a lot of damage going to avoid both the key and the hydrant here and the apple. Once again, Chris, I feel like he's a player who really likes to just mm. throw in everything that he's got. Mm -hmm. And since he's not the player that's going to let him. Okay. Oh. Ooh. All right. Luckily, he did not uh, get hit with the follow up there. Strawberry not going to be able to do much here. Honestly, throw might do it. Orange won't even do it either. So going to stall as long as possible. The hydrant doesn't connect, though. So now it's all about Sinji just wanting to commit to an option. It's Honestly, just not pulling the right fruit for the job. Sinji's being very patient right now. Wow, that setup was fantastic. The up B, the trampoline covering, the neutral getup, forcing Chris to involuntarily jump into the apple. Really smart setup from Sinji. It seemed like everything was covered there aside from roll. Yep. In fact, I think it was, yeah. My shield pressure there, down air, the multi-hit, very good. Yeah. And after taking a stock at like almost 200%, this is like not the worst ever for Sinji. Sinji, yeah, he, he can make a lot of extra credit after taking a, a stock at like such a high percent. Yep. Almost going into the F smash there as well, just it's so scary. Okay, just can't find anything to get started here for Chris. Because of all the time that Sinji's spending in the air, Chris is probably finding a hard time getting a grab. You know, can't really grab your opponent when they're in the top last line, so. And even goes for the spot dodge there, which was the right option for Chris, but Pac-Man grabs so long. Yep. Yeah. Uh, here's the first back throw. Let's see if it'll do it, and oh, it yeah. will, but Chris gets to start this second stock off at 90. Mm. And there's only about four and a half minutes left in this game already. I'm surprised the side magnet was enough to deter the, uh, the bell. Okay, just can't find much else once again. It's just, wow. wow. Such a huge lead at this point, it especially is. against somebody like Pac-Man. But a jump read might be it. Look at this. Oh, he wanted to get some sort of like footstool, I think. Or even just a dare Yeah. would have done it. But honestly, I'm really happy that Chris is fighting his way through it mm -hmm. because I feel like sometimes other players may have just like jumped off like, all right, let's go game number two. Yep. But it's Chris trying to figure it out. Going to be able to PK fire Nair here. Yeah, Chris knows that Ness has the comeback factor of hitting that PK Thunder too or whatever. Yep. If it's a last stock game, it's an even game as far as Ness is concerned. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he just needs to steal this stock, you know, in the next 10 or 20%. And then, uh, yeah, like you said, maybe he gets a PK Thunder too or, you know, gets a couple... PK fires in the corner and gets a lucky down air. Yeah, like. and that says so much to just close that gap mm -hmm. instantly. Ooh, okay. Oh my god, doesn't get all the hits needed to at least get the launch off of it. Yep. Gonna PK flash the hydrant Great still. Great coverage. Yeah. Knew the roll had to be coming oh. eventually. Oh, if that trampoline wasn't there, that may have been something. Gonna be able to find the fair out of shield, Chris. Going for the F smash, can't find much else. Trying to bait something out here. Just Great. trying to mix up the recovery. Very creative recovery from Sinji. I feel like that was something. He took a lot of options nice. there that he hasn't taken, but in the end, Chris finds a way to get the PK Thunder to connect and finding an up there too. 
So, like you said, this is the last stock game, which means it could be even the Hydrant kind of body blocking, uh, keeping Chris alive for at least another, uh, another good hit. Yeah, not able to catch the belt either. Going to be able to PK Thunder through the Hydrant. And once again, Sinji playing the long game here. Does not need to approach, does not need to go anywhere. But Chris going to parry the Apple, showing how confident he is right now. I would hate to see Chris do all this work and then oh. nothing happens out of it. Because I feel like just this game alone, we were talking about kind of that stamina. There's a lot of stamina being used, and the key is going to take game one for Sinji. Very it's sneaky. all about how Chris responds here. Yep. A key was sneaky. It was so quick. You had to react to the Hydrant. You're ready, you're waiting, and then, whoops. Yeah, so much stuff to avoid there. And as a character that has a slow jump and a slow, like, up B, it can be so hard for him to avoid all that. Alrighty, well. A small stage is a good choice for Chris. He definitely doesn't want to have uh, Sinji running away forever. Uh, yeah, I'm honestly surprised he left this stage open. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Assuming a Smashville ban, and I have no idea after that. Well, let's see how this one's gonna go. Once again, this is a little bit of a longer set. Oh, you guys have so many stages legal. <laughs> so many, Kalos and Yoshi. Course. Don't you have Northern Cave? We just have Cave, though. We right, have we don't Cave have Cave Town. at all. Well, we replaced uh, Cave with uh, Kalos. Yeah, so. they're equivalent. Yeah, they're equivalent. I feel like uh, got to have Yoshis for an event called Yoshis, right? Oh. I mean, that's true. Ooh, oh. you're and off. he got the bonk, too. Taking away the, uh, well, you know, while hitting Sinji was good and getting the kill, um, it does take away a little bit of the raw distance that you get. So uh, he needed to get that bonk, otherwise he was not going to make the ledge. Yeah, I, I didn't even think he was going to touch the stage. Me either. He barely got it. He has big lead coming out from Chris now. B moves coming out too. Yeah, he got him. Ooh, no catch on Chris, but going to be able to capitalize with an up throw. Okay, Thunder is going to come out just, you know, trying to stack on as much damage, get the Hydrant out of there. But Hydrant's still going to be in play here. Chris trying to do some vertical camping. I think this is Yeah, a, this is the same game plan that uh, Sinji was using, yeah, but in reverse. Yeah, it's true. But now it's just like, you know what? If I don't need to approach, I'm aboard the platforms. You can come to me. I yeah. don't care what you pull. I mean, the hydrant only goes down, so it's a good choice. Chris uh, knows that, you know, in order to fight vertically, Pac-Man has to make some commitments. And Ooh. Wow. wow. Uh -oh. Might be the earliest I've ever seen that kill. That yeah. was raw fire hydrant. Okay, back air. Not going to be able to do much here. Chris going to oh, be nice. able to get a nice near PK fire combo. Can't find the back air, though. Has pulled away a fair share amount, though, this uh, this game so far. Getting a lot of mileage out of the PK flash. It hasn't, yeah. like, done much. It's just a threat. It just says, Sinji, you can't just hold shield forever, you know? Well, it stops Sinji essentially from going in. He's also using it as a tool to get rid of the Hydrant, yep. too. It's like a safe way to get rid of it. You know, it gives him distance, too. Uh, I like it. It's an interesting option. He's, uh, you know, trying new stuff on the fly here. I also think that Chris has taken a game out of Sinji's book where he doesn't want to approach, and PK Flash is a good way of just not approaching but still threatening with a hitbox. Mm -hmm. And it's a big one. And it's like a, it is it is a threat in the, in the true sense of the word because you really have to respect it. If you, uh, if you mess around... <laughs> and that move hits you, you are dead. Uh oh. Apple into hydrant combo. Not going to be able to find the F smash. Oh. Wow. Still going to be able think to he live. Was get that. Yeah, Whoa. Bonk, interesting yeah. route. He is so reliant on those bonks. He he knows when those are going to hit. Yeah. He knows when he needs them, yeah. Oh, the oh. hydrant disrupting the, the positioning. And get let Sinji get back to the ledge. Yeah, that was an untackable like, side B stage spike, too. Mm -hmm. He was just dead. Back air, not going to be the crit one, so it's not going to KO. Chris just struggling to get this back. They're going to be able to find it. A very fortunate roll backwards. Yeah. <laughs> kind of just landed uh, in, the, in his hands. That stock could have been held on to for another 30 seconds, realistically. Mm -hmm. So, Chris, it, it's all about not letting this get to him. Yeah, Sinji doing a good job of, like, making a comeback. Though. I'm pretty sure he lost his first stock relatively early. So. Oh, he did. Mm -hmm. Definitely Sinji kind of... Went from playing on the back foot to now being on pretty even ground. Yeah, that Hydrant getting that kill at like 120 or so, like 
yeah, out of nowhere. That. Really good momentum shift. Okay. Can't find much else though. It's nice fair. Uh oh. Yeah, it, it's getting a little bit scary for Chris. Yeah, I feel like he's getting a little bit frustrated and he's trying to force an advantage, but it's not coming to him at all. The more he commits to those PK flashes, I think Sinji's realizing, well, I can just uh, attack under them by, uh, you know, firing off the Hydra. Oh what my a god, again, again, he did it again. How does he keep getting away with this? Because <laughs> he's Chris. People can just like hold shields. Yeah. Like it really and then doesn't the game shield break unless over. if you're like half shield. Alrighty. I well. mean, it's it's spooky, you know. You you yeah. like you flinch, and all of a sudden a spot dodge comes out, or uh, like a bad roll, or you're yeah, like, oh, time to attack. Down. I have to I have to stuff this move before he uh, hits himself with his PK Thunder, and all of a sudden you're now exposed. So something about something about those uh, those PK Thunder too turn turn people's brains off. Yeah, it's like. You see Ness right in front of you. You want to react with something, but the reaction is what's getting you killed in that moment. Mm -hmm. You just got to hold shield, and he's going to be in the air after that, or in a bunch of M-like, as long as it's not a shield break. You've been going jumping out of the way. here. This yeah. one's going to be a long one again. Yeah. This just, I feel like Sinji just has so many escape routes here that he's just very comfortable going here. Yeah. This makes sense. The platforms are like a little bit higher up too, so Ness isn't able to shark underneath them as much. Already see Sinji retreating to the platforms and charging fruit a lot. Okay. Chris trying to approach in very different ways every single time. We saw that approach with the PK Thunder this time. So he's trying something new every single time. I think he caught on to what you said, Faze, where he doesn't want to do the flashes anymore because mm -hmm. Sinji, it allows for him to set up just a little bit. So we're going for something new. But once again, it's just, this is a grueling yeah. set to play. You got to keep it fresh. You need to make sure you still have tricks left in your back pocket. And that back, that pocket needs to be deep because this, yeah, it could be a long one. So, mm. yeah. There it is. We're going to go back to the tried and troop just for a little bit. And once again, Chris. Yeah, Chris in doing that is allowing Sinji to take basically whichever fruit he wants. But in exchange, he's, uh, you know, he's still saying, okay, go get your fruit, but then do something with it. Come approach me, you know? Yep. Ooh, Ooh. okay, the last hit of yeah. the down air <laughs> would have been spelling danger. Right. Ooh, going to PK Thunder right through the hydrant. Such a good recovery move. It's so hard to bust it open. Yep. Fair, though, coming out. Chris finds the back air, wow. going to pull ahead early. And this is kind of the caveat taking Ness, mm. especially to... Uh, Kalos because small sides and okay. I was about to say <laughs> I held my breath for a quick second. I was like, come on, don't. He almost benefited off of messing it up because I don't know if Chris was originally close enough for it to kill to the blast zone. Oh, Chris wanted to get the PK Thunder too. It might have killed <laughs> and those parries, man. Yeah, with a with enough uh, what's it called? With enough launch and enough mm -hmm. May could have done it, but once again, just gonna play a little bit more passive, a little bit more patient. Okay. Yeah, good on Chris for not letting this up. I, I I, would not, as a person or player, would not be able to bring myself back from this, but Sinji, my god, the apple combo. Looking so good, but Chris gonna be able to fire back just a little bit with a fair. Just going to opt to get the Hydrant away. Uh oh, Ooh. that was really good. That setup was intense. I'm surprised that it uh, didn't kill. Kalos obviously doing a ton of favors. Chris uh, better. Better make the most out of this extra bit of life here. Okay, fair. No punishment. That he knew that that move was so safe. I like that he respected it. Yeah, but yeah. He kind of like toyed it in front of his face this time. Uh, Sinji definitely wasn't a like far enough distance away where that was safe. So definitely Sinji struck where he could. Chris needs to get a grab and find this back throw or something. Ooh, it's not long enough, but it doesn't matter, Chris. This is a very pivotal game three. Mm -hmm. 100%. Getting a little close here. Again, Chris. He just has to find a hit. Going to be able to find the PK fire. Can't find much else. Sinji, just this, this fort of... Sport of <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh man, Sinji uh, 
barely had enough time to react. But I feel like he's kicking himself distance. for not landing that one. Honestly, that was that was the game right there yep. off that. But he had to do F smash because like a forward air might not have been enough. You know, like it just, yeah, just wouldn't have been no strong enough. Yeah, like a back air there. Yeah. either. It there's was, no time. Yeah. Oh God. Okay. The Has to get build. rid of the bell at some point. Oh, landed right on the trampoline. Needed a little more time for that bell to help him out. It yeah. was ready to bail him, bail him out, but yeah. Sinji doing a really good job, though. Yeah. He seems very comfortable playing against Ness, where a lot of people struggle, because he's boxing with Ness as Pac-Man. That's You're, like, playing against a disjoint and boxing with, like, your feet and your hands. Yeah. I mean, Pac-Man's normals, uh, you know, his aerials are good. Like, yeah, they're, they're very fast. good. Yeah. They, they come out quickly. So if he's going to win the boxing game, it's because he's going to stuff the aerials. Exactly, you know? yeah. And he's, he's recognizing that mm -hmm. and throwing out his aerials in really, really good positions. Let's see how this one's going to go. I, I feel uh -oh. like this. Uh, he's dead. Yeah, this unfortunate. This is the worst start ever. We've seen Chris do this, though. We have definitely seen Chris make a comeback, but Sinji's just comfortable. Like you guys were saying, it's just so hard to come back from a player who sets up like a bunch of barriers and you have to break down wall after wall. Mm -hmm. And then you're tired, you've been playing all day. It's yeah. a little warm in the venue too. Mm -hmm. It's the hottest day of the year so far. There's yeah. a lot of external factors too. 90 so, degrees, man. Crazy yeah, hot day. Yeah, I don't know how I'm wearing a hoodie. I'll be honest. It's because you're in here. If you were in the other room or outside. Oh, yeah, I would have been long gone out of this, but regardless. Let's discuss how PK Chris, uh, well, so Sinji oh. counterpicks to this stage, right? Yeah. And then this is Chris's counterpick, picks it right back. Yeah. What What is the, what do you think the thought process is there? Because uh, you maybe gotta no figure, thought. yeah, maybe he just, maybe it's a pride move. Yeah, I think he just knows he likes this type of stage in general and kind of just wanted to prove a point or something. Because Chris is like a fan of FD and I guess Kalos now, but I don't know if he's really benefiting off of giving Sinji so much room. Yeah. And these high platforms, he really isn't able to shark like he wants to. Ooh, can't get the grab either. Sinji gonna push the advantage just a little bit. Has lapped him, unfortunately, in percent for Chris. So can't find much else. Good side magnet out of there because that would have been smelling disastrous. Sinji, though, looking to punch their way to fighting Suarez again to potentially win Yoshi third stock here. But PK Chris just doing his honest best. Just fight back. It's so difficult. Finds the first fair that he needs. Edge guard finds the nice. back air. Good delay with the side magnet. Chris clawing his way back. Obviously, dying at 0% is no fun, but... You know, uh, he's making this work. 100% is not the end of the world. A good combo could even this out. Yeah, even though you are at 140, Pac-Man's only real kill option right now is like a bell or a key. Or like one of these smash attacks. But these are all, if you're conscious of it, you can avoid all these things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these PK flashes now are a little bit interesting. I feel like Chris is going for the flashy gameplay. Uh, sorry for that one. Mm -hmm. uh, he's going for, you know, these PK Thunder, you know, send send him off with the launches because that'll even it up real quick. But once again, Sinji's not the type of guy to just, you know, give that up way too easy. The yeah. apple off the hydrant almost yeah. just ruined his entire day. That thing zoomed. Definitely a little bit of like a, a counter zoning gameplay going on from Ness using his projectiles to fight Sinji's projectiles. But Pac-Man's got some of the best projectile game in the entire game. Okay. Oh, God. that extra little hit is so demoralizing. Yep. Gonna be able to parry the first hit, can't parry the second. Now this is Sinji's go time right here. This is Sinji like, you know what? I'm up two stocks to one. Yeah. I can just start going in. Already lapping him in percent. Yeah, just off of one interaction. Trying to get the back air, can't find anything. So nares are going to be what Sinji goes for. The down air too. Will Sinji punch their way into grands off of this stock right here? Can't find the cherry toss, but I'm surprised. I haven't seen much, you know, like out of shield up smash. I haven't seen, you know, too much from Sinji here, but Chris just trying to fight their way back, going for the down air. I feel like that definitely would have helped the morale, like we were talking about earlier. But that was Sinji's the one, in the uh, driver's seat for sure. That was the one instance where I feel like Chris should have gone for the yo-yo. It would have been, uh, it would have worked out. Yeah, just not a position for it. Okay. Oh, there it is. 
Can Chris do this and extend this to a game five? Yeah. PK fire into PK fire into like some up beach now. Watch that shield. It's very doable. Look at this. Down air? Oh. <gasps> Down air? Oh my god, Chris. In the trampoline. Trampoline's gone and oh, it is gone punk. for real. That's so sad for Chris. What a run though today. Yeah, from I think losers round two all the way to uh, losers finals and uh, making it look completely possible. Just uh, just not this time. Sinji uh, doing his best and he's staying alive. He gets a rematch against Suarez now in yep. uh, grand finals. Oh 